So Ruth joined The Voice Inc. in 2007 when she was studying at the University of PNG. Um, I've known her now for the last uh, close to 11 years, not only as a, a member of The Voice but as a, a very good friend and um, uh, I've only known her to be someone um, with very very solid character, uh, really 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 humble and, and very 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 hardworking. The Voice has been um, going through a rethink process um, about our vision and how we achieve that through our mission and resource allocation. So I think Ruthie's story is quite unique because she joined The Voice Inc. in 2007 and in 2017, 10 years later, um, we began to come together as a community. So uh, we invited Ruthie to come in to be um, one of our speakers to talk about how the, the message of the voice and being part of our community had impacted her life and the things that she was doing. That's when she presented her um, idea to us and I remember everyone just sort of looking in awe of you know this young girl and um, what she was doing in her community and her plans and what she wanted to do and there was just no way that we were not going to support her. Um, I think everyone just said you know how we mobilize our resources and how we do um, what we do, we have to be able to get something, um, we have to be able to help her. So when the opportunity came up from um, through the Canada Fund for Local Initiatives, through the Canadian High Commission, to um, put in a grant to help with um, any project that we were working on, this year for the first time we decided to divert from our usual funding of our university programs and projects to take that now and to actually put it into a community um, base and community led project so through Ruthie and because her project had all the um, the elements that they were looking for in terms that of uh, uh, the community factor um, women economic empowerment factor as well it just um, it, it seemed like the perfect fit. So 2014. Okay. 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 So I bought a boat and we started doing like high up and on why why market got getting why from from the Okay. When we were doing that, um, he came he came and told us that there was like a need for. He said get some ice and bring it to the village for fish for fish. So both of us didn't know anything about what was going to happen. <laughs> so we just got uh, several bags of ice, was it 30 bags? Uh, 50 bags of 50 ice. 50 bags of 50 ice. Bags. One week after he came with those estes and then there's like one ton of fish. We did that for a while and then we, we kind of slowed down. But when we slowed down, the villagers themselves sent word for ice. So they told him that, go to get the sister Sally ice can. So like after that it was like we didn't have a choice, we had to continue. Continue. Because the villagers kept coming back and asking. Okay. My village is very far from the town. Well, people don't use a know in the time though. Like any any activities or some boom or die come up in the city. That's why. Well, we can pass on the blood. And we try to push him to go over since that project and the working life with people. Okay, so this is the cost of the cost of the cost of coffee and atro. A fishing and most uh, projects in the cost of the I'm big plus and sour to see me come. I'm plus I walk in, to kill the ice. Next day, I'm going to in the lake. My time, the lake is very full up. I'm going to hard work. I'm going to hard work, cook him, smoke him, and I'm going come to the this loud place by Kenny. We buy full of canoe, and we walk in my sales, domino here, lo asini, we go sell a kela, la we. 
na sapos ibi klawinim and mi said to kill about and saki simi lu simi lo lei we go main market sapos main market and we pull up mi said go out lo tiny mall market go as far as makam name lo mi am angela name lo papa lo mi am ato sami bla asini mi no blo nara bla hap mi blo dislak bless ta so mi maret mi gat pipe la pig ni mi sa market lo bless side lo ti simpi sem before mi plow line lo strago lo simpi so lo town sapos mi plow gat mani mi plow ba trago lo boat na igo sapos no gat mi plow gat ol big plow kan mi plow sa se lo hia na sa go lo le sapos good plow time time no good and mi plow sa make him lost lo market to mi plow Sampla time mi plaza market lo place mi plaza ci big pla Sampla time no kat mi plan no salim lo big lo price mi plaza salim lo lig lig price you know about 20 kina na go anta ben sa below so mi plan no sai kisim inap lo wanem lo store kai kai something em osa Pricey mi plan big plan tro. Na mi plan no sai kisim orai tu mas. Mi plan sa wakin big plan hat wak tro. Taso lo kisim mani kan beke mo big plan. Mi plan ni dim osem. I mas ikat sampla osem. Masin lo aiso. Wakin mo plan habu emba isi osem mi plan meri bay. Puti mo tis plan mi plan go isi den mi plan bay travel long way go. Sama lagi nabi Osman mula pesim. Lodi sa time nak kan? Nya at sama lagi tinggi lor. Kain oli wok sentam. Mula wok kita kan planti oli sim. Overfish. Office semen planti oli sim lah. Ustaz besar. Ting one one oli macam. At now milih gum sem. Now sal di wok sabo si kamap. Ati emak harus di mula. Because emak ati mula pos pun dah logo lor ini. Saring pis nak kambing, mixin press pis lor. Nau tak solve, mereka tu tim dah mixin test pun. Noni lor mi golok boat, buy body go or buy fuel dah karim go karim kan. Benefit lah fish yang, yang help ni support ni kalau work sets. Ibu tak ni dim school fee. Most benefit tu ibu tak macam ni tak support ni mungkin ni kamla school. School. When you look at the Huan Peninsula on the map. The Huon Peninsula starts from here all the way. But then when you look at the cultural boundaries, there's the Suena community and there's the Salama community. So they are totally different cultural groups. They're not the same. So what in the proposed um, idea that I had was to build a chila here that will benefit the community here and its surrounding neighbors, and also build one at Mayama, which is also another fishing village that will benefit its neighboring villages. So for example, here in Salama, this is Asini village, we have the Chila built. Um, not only the Asini people will benefit from it, there's the neighboring village which is Bwakap, Busama benefiting from it. We even have um, Kela, Laugui, so they also benefit from here. And then we have other villages away from these two villages that I mentioned. So the boundary is way down there for Salama people. So starting from there all the way here, they'll be benefiting. And then we have the Mayama people, and they will benefit their neighboring villages as well. So. Oh, well, let's go. Okay. We're going to go on. They're not up and running. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, awesome. All right. Come on down. <laughs> 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 okay. We're the fish. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.